Hello friends, welcome to online physics. So in this video, we are going to discuss about the problems of electronics of CSR net JRF December 2019. And this is part A in which we will discuss about the problems of 3.5 marks. And in the next video or in part B, we will discuss about the problems of 5 marks. And here we have two problems of electronics of 3.5 marks. So let's discuss these problems. And here the first problem is in the circuit below. So this is the circuit diagram. D is an ideal diode. The source voltage Vs equal to V0 sin omega t is a unit amplitude sine wave and Rs equal to Rl. The average output voltage Vl across the load resistor Rl is so here simply we have to find out the average output voltage which is Vl and the input is Vs which is equal to V0 sin omega t and this is a sine wave and the another things which we have given are D is an ideal diode and Rs equal to Rl. Now let's see how to solve this problem. So this is the given circuit diagram and here the input voltage or source voltage is Vs equal to V0 sin omega t which is in the form of sine wave. So simply in this problem we have to find out the average output voltage. So here to find out the average output voltage simply here first of all we will find out the output voltage for positive half cycle and then for negative half cycle and then we will take the average. So first of all let's find out the output voltage for the positive half cycle. So positive half cycle is from 0 to pi and for positive half cycle we know that diode will be in the forward bias and this is given that diode is ideal so in the case of ideal diode when it is forward bias it will make the short circuit. So this voltage will also pass through this directly and this voltage will not follow this path. So that means source voltage directly appear across the load resistance and that will equal to the load voltage. So that's why here we have Vl equal to Vs. So Vs is equal to V0 sin omega t. And now average output voltage for positive half cycle is given by. So here average of Vl equal to 1 upon pi minus 0 because we have 0 to pi. Integration 0 to pi of V0 sin omega t. Now here just put omega t equal to theta. And we will get this one v0 upon pi integration 0 to pi sin theta d theta. So we know that integration of sin theta is minus cos theta. So when we put the limits we know that cos pi is minus 1 minus cos 0 is 1. So this will become minus 2 and 1 minus sin is already in front of cos theta. So we will get plus 2. So here we will get 2 v0 upon pi. So 2 V0 upon pi is the average output voltage for the positive half cycle. So now let's find out the output voltage for the negative half cycle which is from pi to 2 pi. Now for the negative half cycle we know that diode will become the reverse bias. So in the case of ideal diode when it becomes the reverse bias it will make the open circuit. So in this case source voltage will not pass through this path source voltage will pass through this path. Now here Rs and Rl in parallel. So here equivalent output voltage will become Rl upon Rs plus Rl into Vs. And this is given that Rl equal to Rs. So we will get Vl equal to Vs upon 2. And simply we know the value of Vs which is V0 sin omega t. So here Vl become V0 upon 2 sin omega t. So now let's find out the average output voltage. So here this will become 1 upon 2 pi minus pi. Integration from pi to 2 pi V0 upon 2 sin omega t. And again here just put omega t equal to theta and we will get this one. V0 upon 2 pi integration pi to 2 pi sin theta. And we know that integration of sin theta is equal to minus cos theta. So here after putting the limits we will get minus v0 upon pi. So now average output for complete cycle is given by 
just add both the voltages and divided by 2. So here 2 V0 upon pi plus minus V0 upon pi upon 2. And this will become V0 upon 2 pi. So here V0 upon 2 pi will be the right answer. Now let's discuss the second problem of 3.5 marks. And here the problem is the figure below shows a 2 bit simultaneously analog to digital converter operating in the voltage range 0 to V0. The output of the comparators are C1, C2 and C3 with the reference inputs V0 upon 4, V0 upon 2 and 3 V0 upon 4 respectively. And the logic expression for the output corresponding to the less significant bit is and these are all options. So here we have to find the logic expression for the output corresponding to the less significant bit. So now let's discuss the solution of this problem. So in this problem we have 2 bit analog to digital converter which is given in this figure and the number of comparative for this system can be calculated by this formula 2 raised to power n minus 1 and here n are the number of bit so in this case we have number of bit 2 so that's why 2 raised to power 2 minus 1 that will become 3 so that's why here we have 3 comparator and the reference voltage applied can be calculated by this expression v upon 2 raised to power n 2v upon 2 raised to power n and 3v upon 2 raised to power n and so on so for the given case we have voltage v0 and n is 2 so after putting this we will get v0 upon 4 2v0 upon 4 and that will become v0 upon 2 and 3v0 upon 4 and you can also check this in the figure now let's concentrate on what we have to find out in this problem so in this problem we have to find out the output expression for the less significant bit. Now here the possible outcomes are so possible outcomes in 2 bit can be 0 0, 0 1, 1 0 and 1 1 and in these 4 outputs 0 1 is the less significant bit. So that's mean we have to find the expression for 0 1 output. So when all the comparators are 0 0 or you can say in the low state we will get output 0 0 and when C1 is high and C2 and C3 are low we will get output 0 1 and when C1 and C2 are high and C3 is low we will get 1 0 and when all the comparators are high we will get 1 1. So here we have to find the expression for less significant bit. So for less significant bit, the corresponding values of C1, C2 and C3 are C1 is 1, C2 is 0 and C3 is also 0. So just put these values in the given options. So we will get for option 1, we will get 0. For option 2, we will get also 0. And for option 3, we will get 1. And for option 4, we will get also 0. So for significant value we must have the expression which is equal to 1. So that's mean option third will be the right answer. So that are the problems of 3.5 marks. And in the part B we will discuss about the problems of 5 marks. So that's all. Thanks for watching. Keep learning and keep sharing. Thank you.